seventeen. What are the intermolecular forces in CHF three? And CHF three OF two HF and CF four. So let's actually just write them down like in more of a linear pattern. So well actually let's keep that there. I'm gonna rewrite it so we can space it out a little bit. C H F three O F two. Let's try to figure out a way to do this. H F and C F four. So the first intermolecular force that's always present in everything, okay? All right. So if we said London dispersion force, that would be all of them, okay? That's the first force that's always found in all of them, okay? Now, the next type of intermolecular force are dipole-dipole. And this is only present when there's a big enough difference between the electronegativity of the uh, elements involved. So CHF3, that's actually, well, carbon's bonded with the hydrogen, yes, but it's also carbon's bonded with the fluorines. So carbon and fluorine, okay, because CHF3 looks like this all right that's how it's going to bond like the hydrogen is not attached to the fluorine because the fluorine is already full OF2 looks like this HF looks like this and CF4 looks like this so CF4 and CF CHF3 look quite similar to each other okay that's a big hint on what type of bonds are present, okay? So back to the dipole-dipole, okay? Fluorine, 3.98 electronegativity. Carbon, 2.55. So 3.98 minus 2.55, 1.43. That falls in the range of a polar covalent bond because it's greater than 0.4. So this has a dipole-dipole bond because it forms dipoles between the carbons and the fluorines. Oxygen um, difluoride, um, so that one, oxygen has 3.44 and 3.98. So that one barely makes it uh, 0.54, so that's also considered a dipole-dipole bond. So um, even though oxygen itself would be a nonpolar molecule, since as you can see here, Actually, it's still be a polar molecule because it actually has um, a valence electrons that also express its own polarity. Point being, though, is that it does form a dipole-dipole because these are polar covalent bonds. HF, also a dipole-dipole um, because hydrogen and fluorine, that is going to be what's present there because 2.2 and 3.98 just to verify with math, 1.78 difference. And then CF4, kind of like the CHF3, okay? We're still comparing carbon and fluorine, and so it also has a dipole-dipole bond. So all of them would have dipole-dipole. Now the next one we're talking about is ionic. We're just gonna skip here, actually not yet. We're talking about hydrogen bonds, okay? And there are only three types, okay? Um, when nitrogen is attached to oxygen direct, whoops, nitrogen attached to hydrogen directly, oxygen attached to hydrogen directly, or fluorine attached to hydrogen directly. Of these, the only hydrogen bond present is here. As you can see here, the carbon and the hydrogen, they're the ones attached, not the hydrogen with the fluorine. So we only have one of them that has a hydrogen bond, which is HF. These are gonna be the intermolecular forces present. 
and now last one but not least ionic uh, bonds okay technically that's not an intermolecular force so we don't mention that one it kind of serves as both but do we see any metals and non-metals no so that one is none none of them have that so I'm gonna actually list it here anyways okay none of these all these here listed all these elements here are actually non-metals so there is none so the key thing is that the strongest one actually would be the um, hydrogen fluoride um, or hydrogen monofluoride or fluor not fluoric acid it would be HF hydrofluoride I feel like I'm saying it wrong hydrofluoric acid that's what it is yeah hydrofluoric acid that is the name of this would be the strongest one in terms of the intermolecular forces so all the molecules are made of covalent bonds however OF2 and CF4 have polar bonds that act in opposite directions and are equal in connectivity hence they are non-polar covalent bonds that's not true they're still polar it's just a non-polar molecule uh, as a result the strongest type of intermolecular forces in them is the Lund dispersion force it still forms um, poles so technically I, I wouldn't agree with that the intermolecular force presence in CHF3 is dipole-dipole um, interaction which is true um, HF bonds are hydrogen bonds by nature which is also true so this is um, partially correct uh, they are still uh, polar bonds it's just a non-polar molecule but the polar bonds yes exactly the polarities would still interact with each other so although and in fact um, even a more for example is OF2 because of the fact that it's actually going to still have um, lone pairs on the oxygen still that one is definitely going to be polar OF2 is going to be a bet shape um, just like uh, H2O so just to keep that in mind um, they will still interact the dipole dipole forces are still there it's just that each side in a sense has this polarity it's not kind of um, leaning towards one side kind of like with the CHF3 okay and yes HF hydrofluoric acid is going to be the strongest type because of its hydrogen bond okay so with that let's move on to the next question